I think I have to start again. So I welcome mm -hmm. Dr. Riya Sharma, and uh, she is a SMS Jaipur MBBS uh, graduate, and she has got a great rank, 71 rank in this INICT, May 2024. Our just congratulations to you, Riya. And we all will <laughs> now. You will speak. I'll just listen. Uh, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your journey. Um. Like I started studying and making notes from the second year itself, like I've been pretty regular about it. It's like, I think when it comes to preparing, your strategy must be having a routine. Yeah. Like you should be used to working for at least six, seven hours in a day if you're free that day. All right. So I have been pretty routine is like i have had monotonous routine the entire internship i followed that same thing like i haven't done i would say like i haven't gone crazy in the last time like i have been doing gym and i've been like having that balance in my life so i feel like just being disciplined with your routine would really help all right so from second year you started making your own notes right? yeah so i mean so you were pretty much sure that uh, <laughs> this is the thing you want to do. That's why I mean, <laughs> and these yeah. are the notes which you keep on revising again and again, along yeah. with the balance in your life. Is yeah. I haven't really changed the sources. I've stick to one notes that I've made and understood, and I've. Yeah, that's a, that's a very that. important thing. Yes. Yeah. And about uh, you did your test and you are a current intern right now, right? I mean, you just yeah. finished your internship. Yeah, my internship come. That's the first time them. you are getting this. Uh, did you give the last NEET exam as well? You were eligible for that? No. So that's the I first was, exam you gave? That is my first exam, yeah. Oh this was my first you got exam. 71 rank. That's excellent. Thank that's you. Excellent. So, I mean, people would like to know about that. Because in the first exam, first go, you have scored this. So, uh, what about the test and discussion? You were did, doing did that uh, in the uh, off, uh, online, oh, sorry, offline. Uh, offline, Jaipur yeah. Center in Dams. Yeah. And then you attended all of those or you saw the online as well? No, I attended, like, I tried to attend the most of it. Like, I missed maybe one or two because of the internship, okay. like, posting. But, yeah, I tried to attend most of it. And it was really helpful. So, you, you had your notes, and then how did the T&D help you? Like, I think when it comes to INI sets specifically, the question-solving ability makes a great difference. And from T&D, I learned how to rule out the options, and I even learned how to approach the subject. Yeah, right. And a schedule. Like, you had a particular schedule which you had to cover. Yeah. yeah. I learned the approach specifically from T and D. So did like you I remember your uh, incorrect questions after the finishing of T and D? Yeah, I did revise that. So I added the... it. I did it in my notes mostly. I yeah. didn't make any separate. Yeah, there should not be any that. separate notes for TND. Yeah. You should add on to your uh, existing notes because those are the ones which you keep on revising again and again and again. Yes. So, what about the grant tests? When did you start giving grant tests? <laughs> or you didn't? I started giving the grant tests from the first GT, I guess. Like, I guess it came in March, the first GT. And yes. then... Yeah, 2023rd March. Okay, so what was the first first grant test score? How many corrects? Don't be shy. Okay. People have got 50 also no, out of 200, please. I don't remember the score, but I remember the number of questions that were correct. No, number of corrections correct. That's what I'm asking here. Yeah, 152, I guess. For the first first grant test, you were 152. And what was the last grant test score? Last grant test I gave was like pretty easy. So it was 171. Okay. It was pretty so what, what was the thing? And what about the uh, CBT's uh, simulated exam? Did you give yeah, that? Yeah, I gave that. Yeah, I gave that. Like what the first your... score. I don't remember the scores again. I remember the ranks. <laughs> like the what best was... rank I had in the damn CBT was 32. That was a rank 32? Yeah, best rank I got and, in damn CBT. And the approximate uh, number of corrects would be over. If 32 rank is there, it must be 160 correct. Minimum huh. question correct, I think. Yeah. And what was the main exam? Uh, how many number of questions you attempted and how many uh, got correct approximately from the recalls? Approximately. I did, I did 200 correct. You no, did I did 200. I, did, I, 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 I attended 200, but I didn't see the recall. 
but approximately you are 71 score so i mean 150 above should be correct yeah i didn't say that getting a percentage of 70 percent i think so you did all 200 attempts you did yeah i attempted all of it so there was all the questions there was no single question in the exam which you think that i have never seen i like in some questions in anatomy i was like very much confused like this cadaveric image i haven't seen ever but yeah. then i just used some logic in them like i can see this opening so it must be at that level vertebral level i just used that like i was pretty active while solving that i tried to use as much logic as i can so as we're talking to you, Ria, so I got your point that uh, you started early, you started second year, you started you know, making your notes, making notes you have yeah. revised your own notes, plus added on, you have a TND for having uh, to approve, how to approach the questions. So, I mean, pretty much clear, it's a standard thing which everyone should do, but I would like you to ask that, what was your thing uh, in the last one month of the exam? I will tell you that. I divided my day in three sessions like the morning session noon session and the evening or night session yeah. and in the morning i used to keep like i used to do three subjects simultaneously so that i don't get like uh, away from any subject for a longer time and the short subjects don't finish in one day and i'm not seeing it for like 10 12 days yeah. so i just divided the day in three parts and uh, in the morning i used to keep a pretty difficult subject or a surgical subject which you requires a lot of learning in the uh, noon part i used to keep my favorite or like good subjects and in the evening for one two hours i used to keep the minor subjects and uh, i used to take a break in between and i used to go to the gym <laughs> and the gym was continuously from second year right? yeah I even went that is before the exam. I even went. I, I used to watch a movie in between in scattered in 15 15 minutes. <laughs> that was my. I mean, you you should have a thing which uh, relaxes your mind all the yeah, time. You can study like that. So I mean, yes, you would. I mean, in the three sessions, you were revising your notes only. Yeah, notes. Yeah. And for the last ten days, what I did was that I used the division of three, but I used to do like. Uh, the last three years PYQs and yes. I used to see which question I was getting wrong or I was not good in the concept yeah. and then I used to write that oh, yeah. and it was completed in six seven days and then I had like two three pages for every subject and I saw that before going for exam. So something you're writing a wrong copy like that you used to write something whatever you're doing wrong again and again. Wrong so or, like... for that or in the same uh, notes no, I used to make it in my tab. In my like tab. Simultaneously yeah. doing question. You yeah. keep on seeing that, those things which you are uh, making wrong again and again, and you yeah. keep on writing those so that you don't make mistakes in those questions which you make wrong. Yeah. All right. Any Anything you did about the last uh, DVD you did or something like that in the last? Yeah, DVD is I like, uh, the DVD part I finished pretty much in November before the exam was postponed. Okay. <laughs> like I used to see those things, like yeah. whatever I did wrong. Yeah. And INI PYQs are the thing, PYTs and yeah. PYQs. You Last three years PYQs, yeah. Okay. So you mentioned something about your favorite subject. Which were those? In the uh, middle, middle favorite, part, you have kept your favorite yeah. subject. <laughs> my favorite subject, I think I find microbiology pretty easy. All right. So that was something and like medicine you get used to studying those treatments again and again so it's, it gets easier and pediatrics like any and short of... you find difficult which you give in the morning <laughs> i'd say like i find the surgical subjects pretty difficult because of the treatment names that you have to remember and they have to be very specific there are guidelines there are scores so that i kept in the morning like surgery, orthopedic, and I struggle with ophthalmology too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, so just a very interesting, actually, uh, I mean, strategy of dividing the three into morning, evening, and up. everyone has a separate strategy. You can't follow any other strategy. Yeah. You have to make your own strategy, which yeah. works best for you, I think. And that's I a good felt like yeah. that increased my efficiency. Like, yeah, I used to get very... That used to get very boring for me and after afternoon my efficiency suddenly decreased if yeah. I continue the same subject. Okay. So which subject are you going to take now in 71 rank? 
Are you, are you giving um, NEET exam as well? Yeah, I will. I've been hoping for dermatology. Uh, you were, you might get dermatology in this uh, 71 branch. Not in Ames Delhi, I think. But uh, maybe in other institutes. But of yeah. course, you should give NEET. Yeah, I will. For a single digit rank. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> first, first doctor in the family? Yeah. Everyone I'm taking interview is the first doctor in the family. <laughs> Many congratulations, uh, Ria. Any any last uh, which you want to tell about the students who have uh, starting their preparation from second year? One question. And the last question will be for those who are just going to give the NEET exam this time. Just tell about that, those. First okay. for second years who are starting preparation and those who are giving a NEET exam now. For the second years, I would say that like just understand the concepts and read your books and you just don't have to panic about anything. Just understand things. You have, you're making your notes. That's enough. Okay. And just stick to those notes. Don't go for multiple sources. Exactly. Yes. Stick to one store. That is one important. Whatever source. Yeah. Every source is having yeah. a uh, knowledge, but you have to stick to one source, trust a source, and just repeat, keep on repeating that uh, thing again and again. That is the one thing. And the, for, for those students who are giving NEET exam the next month, any In any tips month. or anything you want to tell them? Oh, you I are would, also one of them, of course. <laughs> I would say that sticking to the PYQs, PYQs like last three years, PYQs really helped me. Yeah. Like I saw that many topics were repeated, like they were being asked like in a, in any way. One student so that just, helped. just took the interview, he said 100 questions were related to the last year's question. Was it correct in this exam? Out of 200, 100 questions were previous year questions. Not directly, but maybe related to those. I think I it's a, 100 is that, a big number, I think. <laughs> I wouldn't say that, but yeah, I realized that like, uh, you know, reviewing those questions and seeing those topics really helped me. Like, I wouldn't know those questions if I didn't do that. All right. Yeah. That helped me. The previous year questions so, is never to miss, not to miss. They have to be done. Yeah, and that they yeah, have to they be done correctly to. because because that yeah. is expected because they have been asked. Yeah. That shouldn't go wrong and keep your mind calm and just when you are in exam, don't get anxious and like focus on the question only. That I would say. Were you giving grand test uh, time bound manner? No. I used to give them like after I was giving them pretty continuously initially and then the exam got postponed. How frequently then, did you give you exam? Then I gave him you give then I gave him every week. In the okay. last two, three months I gave him every week. Yeah, fine. Right. And I gave one before the exam, like on eighteenth. Yeah. Like that was an advice by Dam's teachers only to get get me, you know, going and if I can use my mind to find that thing. And get that anxiety out. Okay. That's great, 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 Ria. The first uh, attempt, first exam and competitive mm -hmm. exam, you have scored a 71 rank. That is very many congratulations for that. And uh, best wishes for the NEET exam as well. We Thank hope you. that you will get similar rank or maybe a one digit rank in the next NEET exam. Congratulations yeah. once again from everyone. Best wishes. Thank you.